to, to go into the fishing. Rufoot Lake, is, that's its bread and butter is the fishing. That's why people have come here. And Rufoot Lake has been called one of the uh, nation's greatest natural fish hatcheries. About 60 species of fish in the lake. Of course, that includes all your minnows, most people, the things most people never even think about. Uh, all your, what we call the rough fish, the big ones, the buffalo, the carp, the gar, the drum, a lot of species like that. Uh, but then you have your fish that people fish for to eat, which are primarily white and black crappie, all the different species of sunfish, which a lot of people would call bluegill and brim. It's actually multiple species of sunfish. Uh, then, of course, largemouth bass, very popular. And, of course, the catfish. You have the blue cat, the yellow cat, channel cat, and then the bullhead cats. So catfishing is very popular. And, and literally in July and August, catfishing is typically your best species to pursue. Because the lake is so shallow, uh, average depth is only about five feet for the entire lake. The water literally gets very warm in the summertime. Literally, you catch fish here all year. But when you're going to target crappie is different than when you're going to target bluegill is different than when you're going to target bass. Uh, like most lakes, the best fishing is spring and fall when the water temperature is a little cooler. So starting in March through Memorial Day, fishing is great. Starting again in late September through usually November, fishing is great. And then if you're a cold weather fisherman, wintertime fishing can be awesome. Just not as many people do it, but it's not because the fish aren't active. It's just are not cold weather fishermen. So fishing here is fantastic. So a lot of people come here to fish and a lot of times you look at these lily pads and think, oh you can't fish there, but this is where the fish live. This is what produces the food. All the insects that feed the minnows, it's what we call the base of the food chain. So while you may not fish back in the middle of these pads, you definitely fish the edges and you fish the openings back in the pads. And you do some great bass fishing back in these pads uh, using, of course, something totally weedless. Uh, weedless lizard, weedless frog, a weedless spoon, something that you can cast back in here and not get hung up. And it's, it's kind of funny because I had to kind of learn this when I started fishing here. A lot of times when you catch a big bass back in these pads, you literally go to the fish instead of bringing the fish to you because it will go down and wrap around the pads. and. Instead of winding it in, sometimes you have to literally take your trolling motor and, and go to the fish. And the same with the catfish. Catfish will fill these pads up. So it's some different techniques for fishing real foot because of the shallow water and the lily pads and the stumps and the standing trees. But it is definitely a, a great fish hatchery and a great place to come to fish. And, and at any time of year, you can get out here and catch something. It's just your target species will change depending on water temperature and, and time of year. And that's true for any lake, but it's especially true for this shallow water lake.